are you going to be single this valentine or have you always been single every valentine is single are you going to be netflixing while people are out there making love loving each other or do you feel or you perceive that the singleness is coming they are going to break up with you soon in other words you are going to be single on valentine's day not to worry we are plenty here welcome welcome to the forum all you faithful we are going to be doing it single together this year we are plenty here okay i feel like it still makes sense for you to slay it doesn't matter if you're single or not just slay whatever can tell your slay can make you catch a bay tell slay to catch a bay yes <laughs> your slay can make you catch another person's bay but you do not hear it from me you can catch another person's bay or multiple days or an additional bay to the bay you already have she'll get hi guys welcome back to my channel so let's get right into this valentine's inspired look so the first thing i'm going to do is prime and i'll be using my laura perfection mattifying primer the next thing i'm going to do is highlight my face and i'll be using the melanie mills liquid highlighter and this is in the shade bronze gold so for foundation i'll be using two shades and i'll be using uh, the shade in caro and beautiful bronze i'm not sure how this mix is going to turn out okay guys so talking about being single on valentine's day in some way i'd like to say that i'm already used to it and honestly the day doesn't really mean much to me but being single on valentine's day for someone who is not used to being single might just be a little bit more daunting and there are so many peculiar things about being single on valentine's day one of those things will be the constant presence of valentine's if you turn on your radio they're advertising one valentine's promo if you turn on your tv they're advertising one valentine's promo movie suggestions love love mushy mushy love love movies that you probably don't even have any interest in yeah it's just sickening it's just it's just it's just everywhere and because you're actively not going to partake in it it becomes really really annoying so next thing i'm going to do is just quickly run through my brows and i'll be using the brown brow pencil in deep brown yeah, so talking about being single on valentine's you dare not get hungry on valentine's day you dare not how dare a single person hungry on valentine's day and you want to go and eat in a restaurant or something they are not going to answer you because even couples might not even get spaces to eat no now to talk about you single nobody's going to answer it. and we all know how rude waiters in lagos can be so you really do not even want to disturb yourself there was a particular valentine's day i can't remember which i just wanted to get to the mall that's the palms in vi i think i wanted to get food it didn't cross my mind that because of valentine's so or anything food i'm like it's fast food like do people go to fast food restaurants to go and celebrate valentine's day or what you know and boy was i shocked i didn't get food to buy so it was then i realized that you know what if you are hungry on valentine's day just eat what you have at home so i'm going to set my eyebrows with this bomb brow set gel that is just going to make them last all day and it's just going to make the hairs stay in place if you have really bushy brows you should try this okay i forgot to mention i have cold if my voice sounds crazy or i'm sniffing a lot yeah so please bear with me so the next thing i'm going to do is my eye look up i should zoom in for this one minute okay all right so i'm going to start with um, priming my eye and i'm going to be using the laura eye primer i'm going to start building my eye look with this orange orangey shade it's called brick red from mac another insane thing about being single on valentine's day is you know if you if you live in a nigerian household and you're approaching a particular age as a girl you already know the side comments at some age it's not going to be side comments anymore it's going to be direct questions like kilo day what's going on Lomo kowale and stuff like that you know Valentine's Day is just that day that makes them remember that they are supposed to you know, pile pressure on you and tell you that ah, well by this time next year you and your husband should be celebrating Valentine's together you know it's that crazy so next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pack on this flamingo pink shade this is from MAC as well I can't remember the name right now so I'm just going to look for it and put it down below 
Okay, so now that I've gotten a good mix of the pink and the brick red shade, I'm going to try and gently cut my crease so that I can pat my lid color on. Is that we using this concealer from Makeup Revolution and it dries really really fast, so I'm just going to go one eye at a time. So I'm just going to pat my eyelid color on. And for that, I'll be using this shade in the Novena um, eyeshadow palette, um, and this is Wow Child. And I'm just going to use a flat shader brush to kind of define that edge. And I'll be using this purple shade called Celestial at the edge, just right like this. And then I'm going to go back in with the, the pinkish flamingo shade that I used earlier, just to make sure that it blends right into the last color that I used. To even make it pop just a little bit more, I'm going to use this liquid pigment. Okay, so I'm done with the second eye. I'm just going to use this very sparkly champagne-ish color. It's from BM Pro, it's called Chantilly. And I'm just going to put that right into corner like this. I'm just going to apply mascara. So the next thing I'm going to do is apply my lashes and I'm using this King Clash in hot sauce. And then after I do this, I'm just going to use a liquid liner to very, very slightly line my eyes. And I'm just going to use this to cover up the eyelash black, um, <laughs> eyelash band and whatever blue is showing there. Then I'm going to line my waterline I'm not, and I'm using the Marbrook Extremely Soft Cool Pencil. Alright, so um, I'm done with the eyes for now, so I'm just going to complete the rest of my face. So to highlight my face, I'm going to be using the Revolution Concealer. Okay, so back to what I was saying before the eye look interrupted me. But another annoying thing about being single on Valentine's Day is when other people around you receive gifts. Okay, now I'm not saying you should be angry that other people are receiving gifts or you should be envious or anything like that. No, far from me. The thing is, if you live with people and they happen to get their Valentine's gift, look, there is a limit to how enthusiastic about the gift you can be. Like, you know, on a normal day, if it's birthdays or whatever and someone gets a gift, you know, you are like happy, hey, let's see, what did he write? This, 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 let's see, what's the gift about? But on Valentine's Day, you know you're single, you know that you are not expecting anything. Maybe your housemate, your sister or your friend gets her own gift. I think the question and Jesus said, oh, that's nice, that's so sweet or something. Don't go and be ambitious. Hey, let's see, open it, open it, let's see what's inside. Because if your own is too much, the question you're going to get asked is, calm down, where's your own? Like someone brings edibles as gifts, like wine, chocolate, and you're gingering, you're shouting. When are we going to eat it? Let's open the wine, open the this, open the that. You are going to get insulted. You know what they call insults? No insult is different from insult. Say for example, you are in your house with your siblings and you are doing serious bebe lube. Even your parents, your mom can be like, ah, what is it? Ah, let the girl enjoy her gift. Where is your own? And then that's insult. That's serious insult. Be excited but don't be too excited. So I am going to go ahead and set and I will be using the Sasha Buttercup. So another thing about being single on Valentine's Day is that you might get so lonely that you start calling or texting exes or old people that you shouldn't be doing. Think about this. If you call that ex and that ex is on a Valentine's date with his new B, how silly are you going to look? Extremely silly. If you know you're going to feel stupid immediately after dropping the phone or a day after or two weeks after, don't just do it. It's not worth it. It's just Valentine. You could be the recipient of a Valentine D 
critical. Like you could also have someone who is feeling lonely call you and then you start talking to the person, you give the person audience knowing fully well that you should not. And before you know it, one thing leads to another and they might be a mini you in another nine months. You know what I'm saying? Or one thing leads to another, you let the person back into your life. Three months after you're back square one. You're back to crying. Don't do it. It's not gonna work. So the next thing I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be contouring and warming up the face and I'll be using this Iman powder in F5. Then if you think Valentine's Day is bad, try the day after Valentine, February 15th. Just open social media. Log on to your Instagram. That's when you'll be seeing the proposals, the gifts, the flowers, the cards, the everything, everything. And honestly, let me tell you something. No matter how much of a thick skin you have built over the years for things like that sometimes you just you just think like why why do i have three heads is it not somebody that they are giving cut to why is my own different why am i not enjoying life like this so if you feel that way once in a while don't really beat yourself up about it it's normal that's not being envious neither is it being jealous or neither is it being fake or aspiring to be something that you're not what is most important is knowing that that is not your life different timing for different people it might be on the on the chapter 12 of their own lives meanwhile you, you might be on your own chapter 2 so you won't compare someone who's on chapter 12 to someone who's on chapter 2 you know just uh, make sure that you're grounded you can appreciate things that you see on social media and still be grounded enough to know that what is for you is going to be for you you don't need to rush it neither do you need to feel pressure so i'm just going to blend the highlight and the contour together with my face powder this is um, fashion fair oil blotting powder in the shade cola and i'm just going to make sure i press that onto the skin and then i'm just going to contour my nose with the same iman powder that i used earlier okay so i'm just going to complete the eye look because i want to have the same colors i have on my lid the transition colors um, i have on my lid under my eye as well just going to keep pressing that down I love a good inner corner highlight and I'm going to be using this highlighter from Yanga Beauty I'm just going to spray my brush a little bit oh I forgot I have tea here Christ well everybody will still die on just pretend like I did not just drink tea that I sprayed, set and spray into. We're all gonna die anyways. So next thing I'm going to do is highlight and blush. So I'll be using the Milani Baked Blush in Red Vino next. And the highlighter I'll be using is the same one I used in the inner corner of my eye. So I'm just going to move on to my lips. Lip balm line like this with a brown pencil i'm just going to add a little bit of pale pink and i'm just going to add gloss and setting spray this completes this look guys let me know what you think and also just to wrap everything up if you're single this valentine season just it's just like being single on any other day so do not use valentine's as an excuse to allow or accommodate things or people that you normally would not okay so thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to leave a comment below in the comment box if you have any questions or suggestions and um, also please do not forget to follow me on instagram my handle is omoshaliwa underscore o i'll leave it right here if you have not subscribed please do subscribe if you like my videos you can also um, click on the notification button and just so that you get notified when i have new videos up. so that's it guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye uh.